what happened on Sunday is unacceptable. Stage and scrim performances have looked like really different, and for whatever yeah. reason, those issues aren't getting solved. Yeah, two to three months ago, if you told me the current record of the team, I probably would have laughed you off. But uh, the reality is we are here. Obviously, we sought out for higher aspirations than where we currently are, uh, built a roster that we have confidence in. There will be some days of practice where it goes really well and we perform very well as a result. And when you go on stage, the communication level isn't quite there. Some of the communication is getting lost. And so that's definitely like one of our biggest weaknesses right now. The next question becomes, um, are these issues solvable or are they just attached to particular players and that, um, that we just can't fix it? So this week we played EG and Immortals, and EG was a very draft difference game. Immortals was a game that we should have won. We're just getting a little chaotic on stage compared to how calm we play in training. And so far this week, it's been really good. Like, uh, it's even better than last week, not gonna lie. Honestly, just have some big holes in communication still. Uh, so a lot of the problems that, that are happening throughout the week and on stage are the same ones. Uh, in these error-based games, you get the mindset of, we're going to lose again, and I don't want to, and then people tighten up. Saturday's game against GGS was just fairly disappointing. It's disappointing for the players, it's disappointing for um, the staff, it's disappointing for the fans. Uh, it definitely was not a game that should have been lost. We've seen both sides of these kinds of comps, like, like perfectly fine games. But our game was not fine. It was rife with errors uh, from the get-go. Every single kind of mistake. I think after these two losses, uh, it's really obvious now to see where the kind of the main four or five issues in the team lie it looks like two separate teams what we do in scrims and what we do on stage not even like it looks like two separate teams i'm gonna reach out to some other teams to see who we can get but it's i think pretty obvious that we need to change something especially around mid i feel you know after talking to a few people that pull belter is the probably going to be the best option for us given what's available yeah now in this particular case, um, it, it's you know honestly a really hard decision. Um, but after talking to everybody involved in this, uh, we felt comfortable knowing what we were going to get with Crown, and understanding that we need to go in a different direction. We have made a change in the mid lane uh, to maximize our opportunities to be the most competitive we can be. Uh, we spent a lot of time identifying some of the core challenges with the team. We do believe that this roster change uh, will solve many of the problems that we've been experiencing. Uh, there's a few things that are pretty core that just need to be solved for and if we can get those things right I think we'll be uh, well positioned for uh, the future. Being in the position that we're in is unfortunate, but at the same time, there are a lot of good things behind the scenes going on. Uh, what matters at the end of the day, obviously, are our results, which we haven't capitalized on. So with that being said, um, you know we are disappointed, but we're also very confident in the future of the team uh, and where we're going to be headed.